personality of God. Lord Jesus is so pure and holy. He has an innocent childlike character. His innocence and deepest love portrays this childlike being. Even though he has been in existence forever, he is like a child, like a precious baby. Father God, too, whose heart also melts for us, he too can be like a precious loving child because he is so pure and holy. There are times Father can get angry and scary, not because he likes doing it, but because sometimes it's needed to punish the evil. Father God and Lord Jesus are not mean and snobby. They are not like earthly people. They have warm, gentle heart, kind, merciful, and loving. People distance themselves from God. That is why they don't know God's heart. God is not cold as people may think. God is overwhelmingly positive and hopeful and wants to heal your wound. Jesus often leads us the way to serve Him. He gives you opportunity to obey Him. He gets very cranky when you refuse to help the needy. He might convict you by throbbing your chest or give you a thought of guilt. You may feel Jesus' heart feeling sorrow and sadness. When you do wrong or refuse to obey Him, He may revolt against you and kick you in the chest with His feet like a child crying. Or He may pinch your chest to let you know he doesn't like what you are doing. He does many different ways to warn you, to protect you from falling to sin, as the devil sets up many traps in our lives. It is always best to take heed of his warning and respond and obey him. It is to keep you spiritually safe. Charity is a very powerful tool to defeat the devil. Charity covers a multitude of sins. Even if you don't repent on some of the sins you have, God can deliver you from demons when you help the poor. Even something simple as giving them money. God is not asking you a great deal. Something done small out of love, out of obedience to God, matters so much to Him. If you sacrifice your time and resource to help the poor, even for the littlest, you can get delivered from demons right away, out on the street or at the gas station. God doesn't always deliver you from demons when you get home and pray. Deliverance is done by God's will and His mercy. What Jesus hates, the devil loves. What devil hates, Jesus loves. The devil hates charity with passion. The devil will try to do anything to prevent you from helping the poor. The devil may try to discourage you to not obey God. The devil rejoices and has party when we fail to obey Jesus. Oftentimes, you will have fight or conflict with God. As you gain knowledge by getting to know God, it's easier to get angry with God. You won't be just fighting against other people,
but fight with God directly. There is breakup and reunion. It's a marriage relationship with God. It will be you versus God. When you are mad at Jesus and hold grudge against Him, He will raise you up like carrying His baby. Baby cries and Jesus stays close to you and attaches to you day and night even when you are asleep. He will wipe away your tears. He may lighten you up by playing toys for you as you are His baby. He won't quit until you stop crying. His love defeats your anger. Your heart will melt and will receive joy and happiness. Jesus understands your feelings to the deepest core of your heart. He understands you better than anyone else possibly can. Jesus heals your wound and restores you. It is very important to receive the Holy Spirit so that you can experience God's love. It opens the doorway to receive much more. You will have companionship and intimacy with the Lord Jesus. Jesus bless you.